This is the realest fucking video on YouTube, blood. The power of the mind. All my days is Saturday today. I'm at my flat. Throw on one, two videos and that whilst I'm working. Came across this video. The video is eight minutes long. A man got to the four minute mark. Too many facts. Too many gems have been spitted in this video already, innit? I'm like, blood, I can't even watch no more. I need to go home and bring down a man them on this video. I need to go home and do a reaction video. It's like everything I'm saying. My man's saying the exact same thing, blood. So you know what? <sighs> the power of the mind. This has to be the realest fucking video I've ever seen on YouTube. Innit? Let's get into it. Blood. Every man is gifted with a source of endless power. And yet, 99.9% .9 of people give it all away. They betray themselves. I am talking about the power of your mind. This video will not be politically correct and might get deleted. So make sure you watch it until the end. Don't worry about the video getting deleted. My brother, whoever you are, come on, don't show his face. Whoever you are, my brother, don't worry, I downloaded the video. I'm going to check back once every two, three months and that. And if I see the video get taken down and deleted, I'm going to upload it. Don't worry about that, yeah? Your message will survive, yeah? Don't watch that, fam. Before it gets taken offline, we will go over two ways in which people give away the power of their mind. Number one, self-betrayal. Most people allow their own mind to betray them. Listen, your mind is powerful beyond measure. If you allow your mind to believe a weakening thought, that thought will become a reality. Let's take two cancer patients. The first patient tells himself it's no use. The cancer has already spread and life has no meaning. Guess what? The powerful force of his mind is going to make it a reality. Subconsciously, his body will not fight as hard as it possibly can. It will not heal to the best of its abilities. He has decided to end his own life. Now, let's look at the second patient. He is telling himself that he is too genetically gifted and blessed to be killed by cancer. Second, perhaps. He tells himself the sunlight he gets and the water he drinks is directly healing him from his cancer. Same That's the fucking mindset you need to have, blood. I've spoken about this in a video before, so I've done a reaction video to one of my previous videos talking about depression and that. And in the past, like when I first started the YouTube thing, I spoke about depression a couple of times and then a couple of times later. And so anyway, there's two videos that I've done reaction videos to about depression. And what I was saying then, I still believe now in it, yeah? There's a thing called willpower. In that video, I'm saying... If I was on my fucking deathbed and there was a chance, I'm on my deathbed, I mash up in the hospital. If there was a chance, my willpower would allow me to survive. I will fucking survive. Do you know why? Because I'm a fucking fighter, blood. I'm not a weak individual, you know. Yeah, I'm not like Mr. Olympia and that, innit? But my brain is fucking strong. If I was on my deathbed and there was a chance that I could survive, it was all down to my willpower. I would survive. A lot of people... On planet Earth, if there was a chance they, they, they could survive, as long as they use their willpower, they don't have enough willpower because they're weak individuals. They give up at the first fucking hurdle, blood. They're a victim. they got a victim mentality. This is what I'm going to talk about on my YouTube channel with this black thing, blood. Yeah, do you know what? Let's say black people are cursed. Let's say because you're a nigger, yeah, you're going to have it ten times harder, white man. I don't give a fuck. Let's say it's true. Just like depression, I don't believe in black oppression so therefore depression cannot affect me because i don't believe in it and so can black oppression not affect me blood it's a placebo effect if you believe in black oppression if you believe in depression it is going to happen to you blood yeah the black oppression and depression might exist but you know what it can't fucking affect me blood because i won't allow it to i don't believe in it blood you could take my brain and put it in another black person's body who so me, the reason why I'm successful, the reason why I'm doing well for myself is because I don't believe in black oppression and that. You take someone else who believes in black oppression and that, and obviously their life is fucked in that. But I guarantee you, you give me their, you take my brain and put it in their body, they will make something of themselves. And you take their brain and put it in my body and I'll be a fucking waste, man. Like I said to you lot a couple of times already, and I say it again, I wish I had a crystal ball that could show you two realities and that. This one, 
this version of Jay West that you know, and then well, the other version wouldn't be Jay West, but I'd love to see how where I would be right now if I believed that because I'm a black man, I'm cursed. Because I'm a black man, I have it ten times as hard. Do you think I'd honestly ask yourself this question? If I believed in the curse of that black man, uh, you know, it's ten times as hard as opposed to being a white person and that. Do you think I would be where I am right now? You think you think there would be a JYST for you lot to sit down and listen to Russ Clark Jen? No! Willpower. Yeah, the odds are stacked up against me. I don't give a fuck! That's what it is, blood. For the daily movement he does and the whole food he eats. Delusional, perhaps. Guess what? Let me peel that back. So you get the complete context of it, yeah? It's own life. Now, let's look at the second patient. He is telling himself that he is too genetically gifted and blessed to be killed by cancer. Arrogant, perhaps. He tells himself the sunlight he gets and the water he drinks is directly healing him from his cancer. Same for the daily movement he does and the whole food he eats. Delusional. Perhaps. Guess what? The second patient might also die. But the second person has significantly increased his chances of survival. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, blood. Fucking hell. Like, right, just before, like 10 seconds before, I was shaking my head. I weren't disagreeing. I'm shaking my head. I'm agreeing. I'm shaking my head that like, there's actually... Someone other than myself that believes in this shit. Obviously, you got man like Andrew Tate and other people so on it, but it's so refreshing to hear this shit. It's like music to a man's ears. This is why I listen to Andrew Tate and that. This is why I listen. I'm gonna start watching this channel. I'm gonna plug the channel um link in the in the description. So you know, can go on and check out other videos and that they talk about gal and them things there in it, but it's like a, a men's self-improvement kind of uh channel and that. <sighs> I was shaking my head. I weren't in disagreement. I was shaking my head thinking, who the fuck is this man? I need to, yeah, you get me? Man, I need to do some podcasts or something with this brother here, you know? Must be in some facts, blood. Both consciously and subconsciously, his body will fight. This is why every now and then you hear doctors being shocked at someone's healing process. Trust me, you they heard that before, blood. It. Science is amazing but it only has a novice understanding of the human mind. This is why you will find that a lot of smart people that only base their opinions on studies and science often have weak minds. Novices, do not underestimate the power of your own mind and do not allow your mind to betray you. The power of the mind is something that can't be measured to its fullest capacity. That's how great it is. It doesn't matter if you take all the greatest scientists in the world and put them all in a room. They will only be able to scratch the surface of the human mind. Let me give you another example. It is common knowledge that breastfeeding is better than formula. It is the healthiest option for both the mother and the baby. At the same time, you will find less and less mothers breastfeeding their babies in Western first world countries. Only 1 in 200 women in the UK breastfeed their children. Why? In a lot of countries, women have been fed to believe that it is normal that a lot of women can't breastfeed or don't produce enough milk. Their mind has accepted this as a reality, and their body subconsciously follows that belief. It is the if you believe you are a waste man, if you believe you are a victim, guess what you're going to be? If you believe that you're going to be something great, so long as you're willing to put in the hard work, you're going to fucking be great. If you believe as a woman, oh, uh, my, my milk is sour, I can't breastfeed, breastfeed and that, guess what's going to fucking happen? You're going to stop, you're not going to be able to produce the nutrients to give to your ass like pick me, blood. A man said something earlier, uh, one sec. Just find it quickly. Science is amazing, but it only has a novice understanding of the human mind. This is why you will find that a lot of smart people that only base their opinions on studies and science often have weak minds. Novices, do not underestimate the power of your own mind and do not allow your mind to betray you. The power of the mind is something that can't be measured to it. 
Anyway, my man was saying something and it just made me think like, this is why black people are in the position that they, they're in. Or like some people, forget about even black people. Some people just believe that they're a statistic. They're just a number. No, you cannot believe that you are just a statistic. You, you should believe that you're not a number. You should believe you're something fucking special. Stop leave, letting these pricks call people narcissists and that. It, it says more about them than anything. You know, we live in a society, we live in, a, in an era where if you feel full of yourself and that, if you're proud of yourself, if you love the image in the fucking mirror, if you love your reflection, that you're fucking narcissist. No, the people them that are saying that have low self-fucking-esteem, blood. Have you ever heard anyone say this? Have you ever heard anyone say this? They're about to give you a compliment, but they say, don't get a big head, but such and such person said you're good looking or such and such person was talking good about you whatever in it yeah you see when someone says don't get a big head when i hear someone say that i know they have so low self-esteem because how dare they boost up someone else's self-esteem you see when people have low self-esteem and that they don't want no one else to have high self-esteem because they know deep down they're a piece of shit blood or at least they feel like it the man what one said it's fullest capacity that's how great it is. It doesn't matter if you take all the greatest scientists in the world and put them all in a room. They will only be able to scratch the surface of the human mind. Let me give you another example. It is common knowledge that breastfeeding is better than formula. It is the healthiest option for both the mother and the baby. At the same time, you will find less and less mothers breastfeeding their babies in Western first world countries. Only 1 in 200 women in the UK breastfeed their children. Why? In a lot of countries, women have been fed to believe that it is normal that a lot of women can't breastfeed or don't produce enough milk. Their mind has accepted this as a reality, and their body subconsciously follows that belief. It is their mind that has disabled their natural ability to breastfeed. Yeah. Babies are much more likely to be breastfed in low and middle income countries. In these countries, it is a lot less affordable to buy formula. And so they cannot adopt the belief that most women can't breastfeed. Their body does what it was designed to do. Do you understand? Yes, I fucking do, blood. In this example, it is the mother's mind that can betray her own child. Allowing yourself to believe a weakening thought is self-betrayal, as that thought will become a reality. Number two, letting other people control your mind. Here is the truth. Not a single government may have your best interests at heart. Not the media, not big corporations, and certainly not politicians. In fact, it may be the opposite. If they could press a single button and control you like a puppet, they would smash that button. <laughs> At the same time, you will find the vast majority of people believing and discussing their agenda on a daily basis. Some people will hear this and think it's a conspiracy theory, which is also a brilliant chess move that has been played. You see, the term conspiracy theory has been stigmatized as something only a crazy person could come up with. Ask yourself why that is. The term has been shamed so badly that anyone who doubts anything mentions they are not a conspiracy theorist before even speaking. The truth is that some conspiracies are absolutely real. People plot and commit harmful acts, especially at the highest level of powers in the world. You would be a fool to believe otherwise. But this video is not about that. The other people that heard what I just said will agree with it. At the same time, most people are still letting their mind be controlled. Listen, you need to question everything you are being told. Yeah. Ask yourself who wants you to believe something and why. If you are told you have a mental disease that can't be fixed, ask yourself why someone wants you to believe this weakening thought. They want you to believe that weakening thought because they want, when a person is weak, they are easy to control. Ask yourself this question. If you take two people, one person sad, lonely, and depressed, and another person is strong, they're outgoing, they're fucking, they're ambitious, and they want to conquer the world. Which one of the two people is it going to be easy to manipulate and control, blood? The, the strong person, yeah? Yeah, the person that's a goal-getter and that thinks for himself and that and he's strong and he's determined and 
He's ambitious and that. Yeah, I guess it's going to be that one. No, you fucking idiot. The person who's weak, sad, lonely and depressed, quote unquote depressed, they're going to be the easiest person to control. So what the government want to do is beat people down, make people depressed, tell people that they got this disease that they caught from the fucking sky just to make them fucking uh, easy to control. Stop listening. This is the thing. Even the doctors have been programmed and that. These doctors need to be slapped in the face. What are you talking about? Your patient comes in and says, oh, I'm depressed. Give them antidepressants. Tell the motherfucker, go and fix your life, blood. Whatever you're lacking, try and, you know, I don't know. Let's say, for example, yeah, you, you feel depressed because you're broke. Go and get money. You go to your doctor and say, doctor, I'm depressed. Uh, you know, I'm broke and I can't afford the things I want in life, innit? Yeah, and I'm not trying to uh, be uh, extra or whatever, innit? Yeah, I just want to be able to drive a nice car and shit. Your doctor won't say to you, you know, all right, well, maybe, yeah, you're not working a high enough paying job. Maybe you haven't got education. So you know what? Maybe you need to go to university or get a skill or get a trade, get educated and then get a, a job in that field. And then you will earn the money to not be broke and afford the car and the lifestyle that you want. No, the fucking doctor will say, here's antidepressants and that. The fuck? How the fuck is that going to help her, man? I'm saying, but some people will be like, oh no, it's a trained doctor. I'm just going to listen to what he says blindly. Nah, 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 nah. I question everything. Yeah, me, I will put faith in doctors and that, but there's certain things, nah, I'm not agreeing with nothing that no fucking doctor's going to say. I know, man, fucking be broke, um, be depressed because he's broke and that, and the doctor said, here's antidepressants. No, motherfucker. Send him blood clot way home, yeah, and, and tell him to make something with his fucking self. Then you won't be depressed. A man will be fat and overweight and that. And say to the doctor, yeah, I'm depressed. And then the doctor will be like, okay, well, here's some antidepressants. Like, no, tell him to just go and fucking work out, blood. Then he might not be depressed. Simple as that. There are many Listen mental diseases that people. only exist in first world countries. Why is that? Countries. So, what did he say? Why someone wants you to believe this weakening thought. There are many mental diseases that only exist in first world countries. Why is that? Countries that face more hardships and poverty can't allow more weakening thoughts to enter their reality. They are already struggling. The reality is that many mental health issues only exist in places where people can afford to accept these weakening thoughts. Yeah. An excellent way to control people is by having them believe things that will weaken them. It is no coincidence that Americans buy much more medicine per person than any other country. You see, in the Western world, science is everything. The people often don't question science, and that is why their minds are easily controlled. Science can be amazing, but there are two things you should know about it. The first one being that there are no absolute truths in science. There are only approximate truths. Whether a statement, theory, or framework is true or not depends on quantitative factors and how closely you examine or measure the results. The second one being that many scientific studies are wrong. And they are wrong because many scientists are interested in funding and careers rather than truth. This is why there are many false and corrupt scientific studies out there. When you accept something to be a flawless reality without questioning it, it can be used against you like a lethal weapon. This is something that happens with science. Many people don't even look into the studies and just accept headlines as a reality. If you don't want other people to control your mind, you need to question everything before you choose to accept it as a reality. This channel was not made to spread nonsense, but made to help men level up in life. Trust I me. still want you to question what I am telling you before yeah. accepting it yeah. as a reality. <laughs> if you want to see more videos on the power of the mind, leave a comment to let me know. There is much more to the human mind than can be discussed in a single video. I'm going to be spamming that comment section, yeah? Power to mind, power to mind, power to mind, bear video. By the way, if you want to level up in life, don't forget to show some love by hitting the like and subscribe button. Until next time. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just plug the original video into the description. And that way you can go straight to the original video and you can find, obviously, the channel, obviously. But yeah, I mean, you never know. There might be another realist video I've ever seen on YouTube. But 
Yeah, that for now that it definitely has to be the realest video I've ever seen on YouTube. Um, I think it's gonna take a, a, a lot to top that video, especially the first four minutes and that the, the the first thing about the the power of the mind, the willpower and shit like that. Like, man, I'm telling you, like even me. It's all about what's in your head, man. It's all about having self-belief. Me, I was born average, but I put in the work to make myself above average, bro. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't sit, I don't believe I'm just an average person. I don't believe I'm just a number. And you shouldn't too, man. You should look in the mirror and think, yeah, man, I can become something great if not already. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be too arrogant and think like, yeah, man, I'm something great. That's why I live on my mum's sofa and fucking work at McDonald's and that. And that. But yeah, man, that, that video there was something, something special. Man. Now, respect if you made it to the end, boy. If you didn't make it to the end, then boy, you missed out on some gems. Because you got two people spitting facts and spitting some, laying down some gems, innit? You got the original content creator, you got me in it, yeah. So, boy, that's it till next time. Stay with us. Tunnel.